Are you ready for this much power? Hello my friends, how are you doing? IP adapter version 2 has been out for a couple of days. It was a pain to install this, so I hope with this guide, I can show you an easy way to set everything up and get it running in ConfUI. Let's get started. So first things first, there's another video by the creator of these nodes. His name is on YouTube Latent Vision and then also Matteo. So please pummel him with his questions if your version doesn't work and also check out his channel and this video. To get started, you need to go into ConfUI and you need to go down here to Manager and click on update all. This is going to update ConfUI and all the nodes that have been installed. Now, if you don't have that node at all, you need to install it fresh, of course. And that's also going to be here with that GitHub page. Or another way, of course, is to go again to the manager up here to install custom nodes and then type the name of this extension and install it from here. That's probably the easier way to do that. The name of this, as you can see up here, is ConfUI IP Adapter Plus. You want to scroll down to the area where it says installation on the GitHub page. And here, very important, it tells you what path you have to put the models into. So you need a whole bunch of models for that. You need the ConfUI models clip vision and these two. Now these don't come with that name. You have to rename them as it says here to this name. You can see right here for both of these files. You have to have also the ConfUI models IP adapter model. So this goes into this IP adapter folder as named here. In case you're still confused, you're going into your ConfUI Windows Portable folder, in there, into the ConfUI folder, and in there, into the Models folder. And in there, you either see these folders like Clip Vision and IP Adapter, or you have to create them. So like I said, into the IP Adapter folder, download all of these models, not this one because it says deprecated, which means it's no longer relevant. Then you also need to have inside face. Now this is the same ominous inside face where there was the huge copyright issues in the past. So this means the things you can create here, you can't use commercially unless you have a license. I was told the license is pretty expensive. You have to check that out for yourself. And then below that, you also have here the IP adapter face ID models. Again, you need to download all of these models into the IP adapter folder, not the ones where it says deprecated. And then you also need to download into the LoRa's folder that's also inside of your models folder, these models here, not the deprecated one. Again, same thing. Now for the Inside face, you might have a problem running this. I want to show you how to do that. Here is another GitHub page and in there you have these different inside face wheels as they are called. Now you need to choose the one that has the same Python version that you are using for your ConfUI portable. There is an easy way to find that out. You go to your ConfUI folder, to the Python embedded folder, and then you're looking for the Python X file. Double click on that. And here on the top, it's going to show you the name Python 3.11.6. In my case, might be different for you. So you want to download this file if you have Python 3.11. Now here's another issue. You might have a problem with the environment path for your portable Python install. So you want to go on your Windows search down here, type environment and select edit environment variables for your account. When you have that, look for path and then click on edit. It might be that here you only have one line. If you only have one line, click at the end of the line, write a semicolon and then type anything else and hit OK. Afterwards, go again to path, 
edit and you should have this list here. Now in here, I put the location of my portable Python embedded. And just to be safe, I put the scripts folder and also just the embedded folder. So put both of them in here and also keep the normal Python address in here. Click on OK, click on OK again. Now we need to start the install process. For that, you want to go into your ConfUI Windows Portable folder where you see the ConfUI folder, the Python embedded folder, the update folder. In here, right click and then click on Open in Terminal. This is going to give you this CMD or command window. Now in here, you need to write this dot slash python underscore embedded slash python dot exe minus m pip install then the location of the file and then onnx runtime hit enter and pray to the gods of AI that you don't get an error message and everything runs well. If you get an error message best you look online in different discords for an answer because it's going to be individual for your solution. Also, in case you're wondering, where do I get the path of that file? Well, here is the solution. After you downloaded the file, right click on the file and select copy as path. This is going to give you the path. And then you can use that in here in the command I showed you before with copy paste or control V. All right, so after all of that, has been done. Hopefully everything runs for you. And now I'm going to show you how to use this with a simple build. So we have here the classic build where we load to checkpoint. We have our positive and negative prompt. We have here the K sampler, the VAE decoder, and of course our image output. Now, of course, we need the IP adapter. Now this is different than in the past because now we need the IP adapter unified loader. This is supposed to make things simpler for you because here you have a selection of six different options. This is going to load the models for you in the background for everything it needs. So you just have to select one of these choices, experiment around with them on what they do. By the way, getting this note here pretty easy. Double click on the background anywhere and type unified. This is going to give you the IP adapter unified loader and the IP adapter unified loader face ID because the face ID has a different note. So as we can see, the checkpoint goes into the IP adapter unified loader and then the IP adapter unified loader goes into the IP adapter. Here you also need to connect the IP adapter and you also need to connect the image you want to use. And all of that with the model output goes into your K sampler. And that is already it. Using it is really not hard. This made using IP adapter a lot simpler. And one really cool thing you can do with this is search for a clothing item online. It is best if it is neutral like this with a white background. And then you want to write, of course, your prompt woman wearing a pink puffy coat with fur hat. You want to set up here the strength of your IP adapter experiment around with that. Here have a weight of 0.7 and then you get this amazing output where she's actually wearing the coat. How cool is that? Of course, you can do a lot more with IP adapter. Also, one more thing that is important here to point out is if you switch between XL models and 1.5 models, you don't need to change anything here. You only need to change the latent size of your image and the model for the IP adapter is automatically being changed for you. Now let's have a look on how to use Face ID. It is basically just as simple. The only difference here is that you need the IP adapter unified loader for Face ID. You select down here one of the options you want to use. Here you can see that one of these options is only for SD 1.5 
the other options work also with SDXL. Again, the model goes into this and comes out of that as well as the IP adapter. Here in this case, you also have a value for the LoRa strength. In this case, I set it to 0 0.6 and the provider in this case is CPU. Matteo says to keep the CPU setting because it otherwise loaded is into the VRAM, it might be a problem, but you can certainly also try to use the CUDA option or any other option in here to see how well it runs for you. Then of course, again, this is going to go into the IP adapter. Again here, play around with the weight and we have here our amazing output for that image. Now I found this works a lot better if you have an image that has a higher resolution. So if the resolution is very, very small and also the image is blurry, it's not going to work as well. A sharp image with a good high resolution, like for example, 1600 by 1600 should give you good results. Now here's also the very nice part about all of that. This all works with lightning models. In this case, you can see here, I'm using six steps. I'm using CFG scale one, sampler DPM++ SDE with a scheduler of normal. Again, play around with these settings to see what kind of results you get. If you want, also you can join my Discord. I've linked it below. We have a special room just for ConfUI. The community there is super helpful. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.